At Lang Tong's only helipad, survivors wait patiently for rescue. It's been a harrowing journey just to get here. I don't think I want to go back to the mountains for no. the next coming years or so. Really? Is that it's, traumatized? Yeah, really. It's, it's yeah. that intense. They'd been trekking in Nepal's picturesque Lang Tang route. When the earthquake and then the avalanche devastated the region, the army found them taking shelter in the only standing building in Lang Tang. When you see entire villages that you saw the previous day that were still standing, now just covered in snow and, and you know how fast everything went and you just know that this entire place is, is a graveyard. Eight-year-old Raswa's leg was crushed. Her neighbor had to carry her down. It took her more than a day. Nine months pregnant, Hasina says she's lost everything. She had to walk for hours. She's due any moment. Landslides and other avalanches hit Lang Tang again on Tuesday. Hundreds are feared missing. It's very difficult for us to assess just how bad this is, Colonel Tapa says. Just on Wednesday, they evacuated three dead and some 250 survivors. This helicopter has been going back and forth 15 times already, each time carrying evacuees and the injured. They're uncertain as to what's next, but are relieved to be alive. When so many didn't make it. Samnima Odas, CNN, Dunche, Nepal.